Hey, it's Andy with SmartWP, and today we're gonna to go over new features in Elementor Pro 2.7. And one of these features, pretty good. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Elementor, it's a drag and drop editor, and we just love using it on all of our sites. Uh, these changes are specifically for the Pro version, so if you're using Elementor, the free version from WordPress.org, you will not get these features, but the paid version, which is called Elementor Pro, these are the new versions in 2.7. So before we hop in, let's just show you how to update your Elementor. So if you go to Elementor and then Tools, you can see that there's a beta test area right here. And we're gonna hit enable and hit save changes. And then after enabling this, we can head over to the dashboard and go to updates. If you don't see the update here to the beta, you can click uh, check again up here. And you can see that we have the 2.7 beta to install for Elementor Pro, so let's do it. So one of the biggest changes in Elementor Pro 2.7 is to the gallery. So if you use galleries on your site a lot, you'll have some new options, including justified galleries and masonry galleries. So the first thing in the update you'll notice is that you can select the type of gallery. So if you want multiple or you want a single gallery, now you can actually have multiple galleries all set up on one actual element here. So let's just set up two quick galleries here. And you can see that we have little uh, drop downs here where you can actually select what gallery you want to look at. Uh, for our example though, we're only going to do a single gallery. So we're going to add some new photos to the gallery. Here's some photos from my trip to LA. Insert those. And you can see uh, this is the pretty much basic gallery setup, uh, but now we have some new layout options, including justified and masonry. Now masonry is kind of like that Pinterest look. Uh, let's add some more photos here, actually. So I've just added two more photos here to the gallery, so this will be a better example. Uh, you can see the masonry layout is kind of like Pinterest, so you can kind of have a big flow of images here down here. Uh, let's make the images actually a little bigger here so they look a little better. Justified is kind of like automatically doing the layout based on a row height. So it's kind of the opposite of masonry. But these two layouts are way better than the option of just normal squares. So this is a great addition to Elementor Pro. In addition to this change, you can also go to style and add CSS filters. So for example, if you want all the photos to be black and white, and then if you want it to be color when you hover over, we can go to hover here and then go back to the saturation and set it to be 100. And now you got hovering over and having the color come in. Now this is an awesome option if you want to have uh, logos, for example, or something like that also. Another change is the ability to actually do full posts in your archive page. So if you use Elementor to make your archive page, like I do on a lot of sites, you can actually include the full content of the posts. Um, I personally wouldn't use this option, but it's good to have the option. So if you see here, we have skin and we have classic and cards, and now we have the option to do full content. And that's great if you want to have a blog that actually shows the full content for every post. Now, if you have a site that has announcements, for example, that might be a great reason to use that. Another great addition is for MailChimp and MailerLite. If you use those for your email program, uh, MailerLite will allow you people to resubscribe now using the resubscribe function, and MailChimp has tag support. So getting a little bit better integrations with those two platforms in this update as well. Now, another big change is called dynamic numbers. So if you use any of the counter widgets or star rating widgets, for example, now you can actually pull those numbers dynamically. Now, this is actually a big update if you use advanced custom fields or something like that, and you wanna show like a rating. Now, in this post here, for example, we have a number in a number field so we're gonna do a rating a star rating now previously you had to manually do this uh, select the star rating and that was kind of frustrating but now you can actually pull it from a dynamic field so you see this new dynamic option here so we're gonna click here and go to advanced custom field number field and we can select the key here which is we just have it called rating and it's gonna pull the proper rating uh, it's actually set to a 7 out of 10 right now, so we want to do a rating scale of 0 through 10. And you can see that, uh, let me hit update here, and then we're going to preview the changes. And you can see it pulls the 8 out of 10 rating there. It looks like in the preview it's actually pulling the wrong number, but in the actual post itself it's the correct 8 out of 10. And then for example, if you go in and edit your post, and change the number to 4 for example, we're going to update our post, and then we'll go back and preview it. Now your rating is uh, 4 out of 10. But this works for any type of counter field so there's counters there's pricing tables and things like that so you can easily pull uh, custom data for those fields and another change is the ability to actually show the profile photo of the current logged in user so it's actually going to pull the gravatar but if you have a uh, simple custom avatars installed it should use that as well but uh, you can see here now when we do an image we can hit dynamic and the author profile picture or you can pick the current logged in user profile picture so this is great if you have a dashboard or something like that where people log in and you've modified it all with Elementor. 
It's another great dynamic option there in Elementor Pro, so we're happy to see that change. There's also a slew of other improvements, so we recommend checking out the blog post that they have with full details of all the changes. But those are the biggest changes coming in Elementor Pro 2.7, and we're happy to see them. We hope this video was helpful, and we highly recommend checking out Elementor if you haven't tried it. Remember to like and subscribe if you like this video, and check out smartwp.com for more WordPress tutorials and guides. Thanks for watching.